Your brain and the universe are a lot more similar than we previously thought. Oh, dun, yeah, yeah, dun, you're, dun. you're, yeah, I was like Neil deGrasse Tyson talking over here. Um, well, if you picture it, picture what okay. a universe looks like, picture what the neuronal networks yes. in your brain look like, uh, and start to think, huh. I know there's a lot of, okay, we're not getting into this. <laughs> I'm like idea. literally pretending I'm like, yeah, but I'm like, in my head, space like, and no. the universe is so different than my brain. Um, but I'm trying. No, I just mean, think of like not the empty black space, like think of the stars and okay. all of the stars and like how you picture nebulas and what that looks like. And the connectedness between oh it. wow and true. then picture like neurons connecting and the colors and the connections of that true all the neuron ones are like on paper drawings that I've done. <laughs> <laughs> like it's all just like the way i draw cell biology it's like and it's so like, it's cartoon. so it's literally on a whiteboard it's the opposite of space but yeah so a research paper was literally just published about this by i believe an astrophysicist and a neurosurgeon who worked on it together and talk about using, a couple of smart people yeah they were using basically algorithms and math to compare the structures and the organization of brains and stars in the universe obviously one of the major differences is the scale that things, these things are happening <laughs> at. And so even the forces that are working on them are very different. So that's why it was curious. It's okay. We can kind of see that they maybe look similar. Obviously, there's major differences in why they would structure this way. But <laughs> here are some things that they found. So, you know, your brain has around 69 billion neurons. And the universe has about 100 billion galaxies. Uh, in both, only 30% of their masses are composed of galaxies or neurons. So your brain mm. is most is 30% neurons, a galaxy is 30%, or sorry, the universe is 30% galaxies. So it's really like this neuron galaxy comparison. Uh, it's neuron, yeah, yeah, exactly. In the expanded uh, Galaxy and neurons arrange themselves in long filaments or nodes between the filaments. Oh, uh, this is spiritual. Sorry, keep going. 70% <laughs> of the distribution of mass or energy is composed of components playing an apparent passive role. Water in the brain and dark energy in the observable universe. Oh. Very cool. Um, and so basically the connectivity within the two networks evolves following similar physical principles, despite that they're obviously in very different like conditions. I love how we have to keep doing the caveat like, but they're obviously, it's like, yeah, I well, know. No, that's what makes it interesting. So we're yeah. not at all. This study was not trying to also suggest, cause there's obviously sort of the men in black analogy at the end where it's like a galaxy, they roll out and it's like aliens playing with marbles. Do you remember that? That was like something that I feel like directors in Hollywood threw in that truly <laughs> like became a change culture, a philosophical mind blowing moment for our generation. I think. Yeah. Like, I remember being like an annoying kid being like, like, I was always have been obsessed with science, but like when we, this came up at a young age being like, but what if we're a marble? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but what if we're just in a marble? Like it, it came yeah, like a moment where true. you could say that to someone and they well, go, oh. And that kind of idea <laughs> is not what this is saying in the same way that it's not. There's these cool, uh, you know, you can philosophically think like, what if the universe is just a brain of another being and that we're all yeah, just like these like parts of a bigger it. creature and that our brain is like actually like a whole Like the little universe. adrenaline molecule in our body is like someone's <laughs> no. existence. Yeah. yeah. And that's not what these researchers were trying no. to say. But ultimately, the kind of bottom line was that <laughs> what we're talking about, the universe and the brain, is more similar than what you see between the difference of the cosmic web and galaxies or the neuronal network and inside of a neuronal body. So what that basically means uh. is that <laughs> it's not like this This pattern is everywhere. Like your brain to its structures, it's not like everything in your brain follows this similar pattern. So that's why they found it interesting. Like statistically, the universe and the brain follow these interesting patterns that match that are not necessarily ubiquitously found in every other natural thing.